This is a true story of nine broadcasting students picked to tape a show and work in a studio and find out what happens when people stop being polite and start getting real. The Real World Union. This week on The Real World you and Steven did most of your stories together, <laughs> and then at the first of the semester, me and Dave Parton did that story, and then me and Patty did that story. Mm -hmm. But you know who has done every story together, and is together all the time? Andy. Holly and Andy. Yes. Oh my gosh, I never thought about that. I mean, like, even just this afternoon, they went and worked on a story. I mean, they're together all the time. I mean... I wonder if there's something going on. I don't know. I mean... Chicka pow pow. <laughs> I love working with Andy. He just makes me do my best, and just because he's doing his best, and also because he listens. He's a good listener, and good listening skills are something hard to come by. And when he turns on that camera, it just looks like you're looking at something on CNN. You've never seen anything better. I just love working with Andy. Andy's such a great guy. Such spectacular skills. Polly's very fashionable, I know that. I know she lays her clothes out the night before so she knows what she's wearing the next day. And uh, as a reporter, it's very professional, but really I think it's me that makes her look good doing the camera work and everything. And uh, she just gets all the glory because she's in front of the camera. So that's Polly. Just tell me, what is your ideal girl since you're, you know, you're always looking in this field and looking at women. So what would be the ideal woman? Well, actually, I prefer if she's taller. Not taller than me, but just taller than average. And uh, with uh, kind of short brown hair, and they're wearing a red sweater. Oh, oh Polly. well, okay. Um, I think that he, he, she has a girl, uh, she has a boyfriend. Feel it wrong. Yeah, Phil Robinson. And he and Stephen are like best friends. And I mean, surely, if something was going on, Stephen would have been able to pick up on it. He would have told Philip. I mean, I don't know. You know, I never see Polly anymore. She's always out working on this Jackson Knight thing with her videographer, uh, Andy, Andy Lancaster, or something like that. I wonder if there's something going on. I don't know. I mean... Chicka-pow-pow! Pow. <laughs>